Lying in the heart of the Rocky Mountains, Utah is one of the ultimate ski destinations in North America. There are 32,000 acres of skiable terrain spread over 15 magnificent ski resorts. But sadly over the years, more than half of Utah's ski areas have been bought up by multi-billion dollar mega corporations, leading to insufferable traffic, extreme lift lines, and overcrowded slopes. Thankfully, the soul of skiing is still alive and well, tucked away at the last few bastions of independence. Fun day on the slopes can still be had at a local hill without the headache and hustle of a mega resort. And all it takes is a little journey to find some higher ground. Stop number two on our journey takes us to the only ski area in central Utah, Eagle Point. Located in the Tusher Mountains near the town of Beaver, Utah, Eagle Point is just a short three-hour drive from Salt Lake City, the perfect distance for a weekend getaway. Featuring over 1,500 feet of vertical rise spread across 650 skiable acres, Eagle Point seems cozy, but with low visitation numbers, Eagle Point feels like your own private ski resort. Thankfully, I had former freeride world tour competitor Dylan Green to show me around. All right, man. So starting off our day on the canyon side. Is that down? That this yeah, slide? we're gonna be on the lookout quad chair. Oh, sweet. Uh, it's a service in pretty much all of our black diamond runs. Uh, a lot of the steep, deep kind of the resorts known for. Uh, we'll also be making our way over here where my wife and I, where we like to ski. Cool. Yeah, it's kind of a well-rounded, split apart resort that's offering up kind of the best of both worlds so it's nice that you can come over here as a beginner you don't have to worry about like getting trapped on a black run on accident totally yeah and i love like parking you know right at the top of skyline lodge right here and so cool i actually i love resorts where you get to park and ski down before she's sitting on oh, a chair it's the best yeah I love, you get to warm up a little bit before you sit on that chair lift yeah shake off the rest a little bit so awesome. yeah, that's kind of the day we got lined out <laughs> It's like I feel it every single time I come down here and every single time I roll through that top meadow I just like I just look at my wife and I'm just like oh. it just, everything just is like buffed out it feels like home it just it really does yeah it really feels like home but then also at the same time like you know I'm a free ride world tour athlete of the past I've like you know been all around the world skiing so I really like like hard you know hard charging yeah hard charging and like getting after it and this place definitely still like supplies that sneakily <laughs> So good. Yeah. Another day in paradise, right? Yeah. Oh, that was pretty nice. There, right there, is the vibe. Yeah. <laughs> he, he embodied it. Just having the most fun possible. Vibe, you've been skiing here for what, you say like eight years? Yeah, yeah going on eight seasons. So, yeah, really kind of, you know, especially in the past eight years, this place has uh, really kind of bolstered their infrastructure. Definitely tell Shane, the current owner, um, he's got like a really beautiful long-term plan of this. And it's not just getting in and 
you know, throwing in some fancy lifts and throwing it into the next ownership. He's got like, you know, long-term roots he plans on sticking in here. And it's really shown. Like yeah, and you'll, you'll go and ski with Shane, like I'm sure you'll actually probably hop on the list. I've done this and I didn't even know that he was the owner. <laughs> yeah, he's out here skiing with his family. and. Yeah, and I think that just goes along with, you know, like the whole vibe of this place is that it's family. You know, it is like, it is awesome that you get to come here and you sneak away from the crowd and traffic. It's yeah, so it's worth the drive. Worth the drive. Yeah. yeah, worth the drive, replenishes the soul for skiing. You just, yeah, you fall in love with the sport again. With our ski boots off and our thirsts quenched, we headed into the Canyonside Lodge for a delicious meal, well earned after a long day on the slopes. Eagle Point isn't the resort you end up at if you're chasing huge or expensive ski destinations, but it's the things that are missing that make this place truly special. Gone are the high price tags and huge lines. Gone is the enormous parking lot that requires reservations. And gone are slopes that get tracked out within hours of a fresh snowfall. Replaced instead by tons of smiles, tons of charm, and just about the most fun you can possibly have.